who sat in a, in a club. And this Kenyan girl was moved by the Tanzanian musician's song. She went away and wrote a love letter, asking the Tanzanian musician that can we be in love. When the Tanzanian musician received the letter, he turned down the girl's offer. But he turned her down in such responsible use of language that if the girl will have read the letter, she will not be disappointed. This is how the Tanzanian musician responded to a Kenyan girl's love letter. Barua yako ni mekwisha ipata sheri Ni yako tupenda ne uawilio Sikata hilaki ni kitu kimoja Naugopa Now, this guy is not saying I don't want. He is not saying I don't want. He is saying, Sikata hilaki ni kitu kimoja. Now, that's a responsible way of saying no. And he goes ahead to give us reasons as to why anaogopa. Reason number one, he says, Wanao kupenda watani pata bumimi masikinio. That's a very valid reason. Because he's saying wanao kupenda. If my Swahili is anything, my understanding of Swahili is anything to go by, then wanao means ni wengi, isn't it? Then this girl has many. So this man has a valid reason as to why anaogopa. Reason number two, he says, Hali yangu ya unyongisi tuwiza kukabili wale wako. Reason number three, he says, Elewa wazi kama tutapenda na ho Mabaya mengi yata ni fuata fuata Na mimi mwenzi hoka mwesi jimuduo Na kuomba ufikiri mama This guy is saying He is saying that please understand That if I fall in love with you like you suggest in your later very many bad things will follow me and I am a poor man, I will not manage. I beg you to reconsider. This is a responsible user of language. There is nothing abusive in that letter. He's turning down an offer, but look at how he uses language responsibly. If that girl will have received the letter, she will have still offered to share a cup of coffee with this guy without feeling offended. Are we together? Yeah. Any musician who sings, his name is Hussein Machozi, and I want to share with you one of the stories in his songs. Hussein Machozi says in one of his songs that there was a beautiful girl he used to admire. He tells me in his song that he used to stand by the road each day and watch this girl pass. And Hussein Machozi will struggle to greet the girl. The girl will abuse him, and Hussein Machozi will go back to his house and pray. <laughs> he stands by the road every morning, watches the girl pass, he will say a bariako and the girl will say kwenda uko and Hussein Machozi will run back to his house and plead with the creator of the universe. One day he had a knock on his door and when he went to open the door, to his pleasant surprise, it was that girl. He left the girl by the door, rushed to the bedroom and thanked the father above for answering his prayers. <laughs> when he came back, when he came back to invite the girl in the house, the girl said, I will not sit in the sitting room. I want to sit in your bedroom. Hussein Machozi again thanked the creator of the universe. When they go to the bedroom, the girl said, I will not sit on a chair, neither will I sit on a stool. I want to sit on your bed. Hussein Machozi for the third time thanked the father above for answering his prayers. Then he asked the girl, which soda will you take? And the girl said, Fanta Orange. And he took off to the shop to go and bring Fanta Orange. He came back armed with a Fanta Orange and a stony for himself. When he got into his house, he peeped in the bedroom and discovered that the girl was lying in bed in a suggestive position. Hussein Machozi, from where he stood, he could see all the girl's clothes on the floor. So he said, Soda can wait. He took back Soda to the sitting room. When he came back to the bedroom and equally undressed to join the girl, he realized that the girl was lying in bed, dry, dead. Hussein Machozi asks in his song, who will believe that I am not a murderer? Who will believe that I did not kill her? The girl is not just in my house, she is in my bedroom. She's not just in my bedroom, she is in my bed. She's not just in my bed, she is lying in a suggestive position. 
not just lying in a suggestive position. She is naked. She is not just naked. She is dead. When you listen to that song, when you listen to that song, you will realize that it's a complete script with dramatic twists. As you are thinking this will happen, this happens. What comes to your mind at that point is you are thinking of a creative resolution to get Hussein Machozi out of the complication he has found himself in. True or false? You will not find such a story in Kwakoni Medata, data, 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 baby. Where is the story? That if I was asked, as a teacher of literature, I'm aware that I'm supposed to use songs to teach literature and at times to teach poetry. But my hands are tied because the students today, the songs they identify with are not poetic. The songs they identify with are obscene. They have nothing poetic in it. One day students told me, why are you condemning this song? And there is use of style. I ask them which style. They say there is repetition, Malim. <laughs> and I told her, are responsible users of language. There is no style without responsibility. What is being repeated? If I came here and told you that you are foolish, 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 you will hail me because I have used a style called repetition. There is no style without responsibility. They who use style are responsible users of language.